The braided lords of Kelthus surrendered in shock. Their magna burned alive as they watched. Stripped of magic, the armies of Glaivegate fell. To Sandrak, the bold and terrible tyrant of Rayshar. They called him their ruler, as he was of east and west, and the horns of their ancestors trumpeted blood in protest. Hardcore. Hush. Passage to the sands of Oroman was secured. The Sky Islands, careful. Ever I'm being careful. With winged as careful as last time. Careful, uh. And the wound That's not a word. Earth yawned wide as he spoke, declaring the Magli of their order now vanished. Damn. You think Sandrak really talks like that? I'm concentrating. Maybe he bores his enemies to death. I'm concentrating. But. Mine. But I am not. No, but I am not the man content to simply wonder. I am. I'm wondering every third word. I'm distracted. Go, go, go. No one cares about our say Norman. Hold it up. Sandrak's coming our way. Got it. Let's go. Hey, wait up. Luna! Over here, Jack. Others made out better. One can hope. Did Caleb ever tell you his plans for this caper he's got in mind up in Topside? I think he just likes to say caper. 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 It's a fun word. It feels sneaky. Also, you two stay out of Topside. No one's using the cargo lift. Come on. So I wasn't paying attention. What was the play about? Um. Kalthus surrendered to Sandrak, and then he burnt all their magna. Alive. Well, that's not nice at all. It's pretty rude, if you ask me. That Sandrak really wants you to think he's capital E evil. I doubt he thinks that. You cannot think it and still be it, Luna. Which is kind of scarier. The tyrant of Rashad. See? Let's cut through the market. Sure, but let's keep an eye out for the constables. The market seems kind of dead tonight. There's talk of a bunch of airships coming into dock. Some hivers probably think they can make easy money unloading cargo. Maybe that's what we should have done instead of stealing from the hat guy. He was a bust. By any metric, a man with a hat indicates a perfectly respectable mark. That sounds made up. Tell them? Maybe. I don't know. Feels late for it now. You made it late. Because I hate goodbyes. Sure. I get that. Oh. What's up? to get back. No. You're thinking how much you're going to miss this garbage heap. Please, would you? Don't call my home a garbage heap. 
I don't want to spend my life living above a bottomless hole in the ground, Jack. We don't technically know if the wound is totally bottomless. All signs point to yes. They'll be okay, Luna. I'll watch over them. We- I've got an idea. Target practice? Why not? It's our civic duty as citizens of the Seren Underbridge. It's janitorial work. Probably would have made more money clearing off these large barnacles than we did at that play. Fair. You're all about duty right now, aren't you? Nice. You'll make a good soldier. I hear they give better uniforms to the lightless that can summon a little magic like this. There's a war, Jack. It's not about the uniform. Or maybe it's better boots. Cheese, Jack. Wait, what? Soldiers get to eat real cheese. Boots are just extra. Huh. Rashan's got no idea what's coming. Make corporal, I can even buy land. A whole farm just full of boots. Look, I know I keep saying I get it, but I don't. Not really. You're the first person I've met that actually wants to fight in the Everwar. No one escapes the draft, Jack. They do all the time. You're not even going to try. Besides, I don't want to fight in the Everwar. I want to fight for Lucian. Exactly the same thing. Just shut up and shoot. ship you off to fight in the Everwar, where do you think they'll end up sending you? Who knows? Maybe I have just enough magic not to be considered lightless and I'll have a say in where they send me. A Magnus gets a say. Probably. No offense, but what we do is kind of like... Pew, pew, pew. A Magnus is like... Pow, bing, brrr. I mean, it's not even a contest. <sighs> yeah, some magic might as well mean no magic as far as the Magna are concerned. Oh, I can smell Fife's stew from here. Pretty sure the whole neighborhood can. You know, everything he cooks tastes vaguely like regret. <laughs> well, home. Jack! Whoa! No love for the boss? Come here. Are you leaving us? You turn 16 in the morning, and that's when the soldiers fear you into the army because Jack said life is unfair. Or you could ignore the draft like a normal person. Happy birthday. No one tells me anything. How'd you score? <sighs> We're officially the worst street thieves in Saren. Hopefully Caleb redeems us. <sighs> Dug this out of the back of Troy's place. I guess we can act like it's cake. Oh no, you're not eating that. Sure. Probably wise. The stew's almost ready anyway. Grab us some tubers from up top, Jack. Sure thing. Tubers? Let me know when Caleb gets here. I've got something I want to tell you all. Like that you're leaving us? Shut up, you. What do you put into stew when it's someone's birthday? What? Birthday stew. What goes in it? Yeah, that's not a thing, Fife. Wanna try it? I know you two haven't eaten all day. And? It's the snails that really seal the deal. What are you doing, Rugrat? Stole some posters, adding them to my scrapbook. Wanna see? Sure. But what's with you stealing posters? It's part of the historical record, Jack. Join the fight. No thanks. This propaganda is going to rot your brain. 
Is that what happened to Luna? Brain rot? Is that why she's joining the Lights Army in the morning and leaving us? Yes, sir. No one escapes the draft, Babs. Plus, I really think Luna believes it's the right thing to do. Why is fighting in the F all the right thing to do? Look, I never said it was. And you better not tell Luna I said anything. She pretty much thinks I already have. I know you told him. I did not. Well, something's got him all riled. Look, it's not like it was hard to figure out you're leaving. You're packing bags, you're crossing out days on the calendar, you're reading big fat official looking- The officer's manual of lights army regulations. See? No way that gave away the store, right? <sighs> what are you thinking? Would you rather fight a hundred foot tall crab or one hundred one foot tall crabs? The day may come. Probably a hundred... wait. A Vecchi crab or a crab crab? Don't overthink it. But Vecchi's are super aggressive. It's a fight. I don't know. If it's not about killing a hundred regularly dispositioned crabs, I don't want any part of it. <laughs> Idiot. Look, I'm seriously innocent. They just figured it out. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to know that they know. Not yet. I'm sure we'll all act surprised when you finally tell us. I'm gonna. Just, just let me know when Caleb's back. I'll do it all in one big go. Babs is going to miss you. It'll be good for her. She'll be in charge before you know it. Already acts like she is. She's a natural. All right, see you at dinner. You bet. Jack, just remember to be super supportive of her when she tells everyone at dinner. Happy birthday, Luna. I hit it big tonight. Think fast. Your present, such as it is. What's that in it? Pentasad. No shit, I mean the swirly stuff. Looks like snow. What's snow? I don't know, wintertime shit. They say it's in Caltus all the time. Looks pretty as all. Oh! Caleb! Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Move your hand, let me see. Constable got a lucky shot. I'll be- Ah! Damn it, Jack! It's not good. Did they follow you? You got yourself hurt over this thing? Careful, Caleb. Your guts are split. Why didn't you- I didn't want to ruin your birthday at all. That's dumb. Jack, come on. We need medicine. I've got an idea. Explain on the way. You guys, watch him. Get the rags and the water, and don't let him sleep. You know how to do this. We'll be quick. So, what's the plan? I'm still making it up, but I'm pretty sure it's this way. You're making it up? It's gelling. Have faith. Caleb's gonna be all right. housing in the East Nets and Harrow's Edge. That's the mark. That's, uh, that's the they'll kill you kind of place, Luna. Noble means rich. Rich means magic. Magic means... What? I don't know. Healing crystals or something. Drugs from Topside. I mean, 
don't have a better idea. Yeah, no, this, this is smart. They say he's old. He'll have all kinds of medicine. It's a good play. You're saying something you're not saying. It's just, this kind of thing comes naturally to you. Like, it's so natural, you didn't even know what our plan was gonna be when we headed out, and now, bam! Here's how we're getting out of this. You're going to do great when I'm gone, Jack. I promise. Those are lights on me, soldiers. They're new best friends. Funny. Looks like they're in a hurry. What do you think they're doing here? I don't know. It's weird. Over there. That manor. That's where we're going. Huh. Okay, then. Game face, Jack. Yep. what any of this stuff is. What color is life magic? Life magic? Look, I don't know. I think it's green. Just look for green. Oh, hey, check it out. didn't say he was a Magnus. Do you know how to work a sigil? Pfft, no, you don't either. Details. Just open it or whatever. Is that your definition of being careful or? Whoops. What are we gonna do with it? Wiggle it at Caleb? Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Uh-oh. Shit! Let's get out of here! Run! Come on! This way! That's the city alarm! Uh, just for us? Saren's being attacked! Air raid. Chance they're not dead. They know what to do in a raid. We made them practice. You did? I made jokes the whole time. Feel guilty later. Ah! Ah! Are you all right? Right. Right behind you. Almost there. It's just up ahead. I don't 
know what to do. It's shock. Don't let it in. How are you already a soldier? I'm just acting like I figure they act. Jack! Luna! Come on! We can make it! Jack! Get down! here, asshole! What are you doing? Just run, Jack. It's okay. No! Don't! Yes. <laughs> 